Welcome back to Boat Week on the RC Sailors 2022. This is the first boat week and I told you guys we had some really cool surprises. This boat just came out and I think it's going to cause some waves this summer. Pun intended. But, uh, yeah. Hilarious. Uh, dad jokes all day long. And this is an e-sheen boat. This is a brushless setup. It's completely ready to run. And by ready to run, I do mean even with the battery, it's a 3S battery with an XT60 plug. How often do you guys see that for 135, 140 bucks? That's a really good price point. I'm also excited about some of the things that they've done on this. Just little attention to detail. They've wrapped the hose here with like a little metal coil spring. I think that's kind of cool. But also check this out right back here on the rear of the boat. These are lights. Now we're not going to be able to, well, I'll put that in my pocket. I don't want to litter. Uh, and so this is a brushless water cooled system. I love the fact that it has those lights. They're going to be hard to see on this bright day, but check that out. We have a double hauled system. So water, 90% or more of your water is going to stay out from that first hull. And then this really nice seal uh, is underneath. So I expect the water test to go really well. Here's our brushless motor. It's protected under this little uh, That's shell. Neat. And then uh, steering servo for the rudder. The whole shebang is in here. A water cooled system. I really like this. It's going to be self riding. Let's stop gabbing and put this thing in the water and see how it does. It's not very often we have lights like this. I actually love so Ishin made a boat last year that had light bar on top and it was uh, it had its own batteries and it wasn't great. But this year it's running off the boat batteries. You can turn them on, which, you know, kind of hard to see on the camera and then also a flashing mode. That's really cool. It's going to be hard to see in this daylight, but then you have some really cool navigation lights to drive at night. Let's throw this in the water with a self-riding test and then blast it. So your boat goes upside down on purpose or by accident, and what you do is just throttle and it rocks it right back over, which is a really nice self-riding feature. <laughs> it sounds good. Yeah. It sounds really good. I've got to trim it up. But it sounds great. This is a brushless boat by Isheen. I've got to find my trim knob on here. Steering trim, straighten that up. And that looks pretty good. So now it's running a lot straighter. And here's full throttle. Now guys, everything is getting so much more expensive in the RC world and really everything. That's full throttle. I'm gonna try to keep it out here on this corner right now. We've got a very popular lake today. Abby, there's your bonuts. I won't do it too much. I won't take it away oh, from you. Oh, you, you already just did. A quick, just one bonut. Just one bonut. The rest are for you. Uh, <laughs> and point is, there's not a lot of great boats under $100 right now, especially brushless. And for this to just be 100 and about 35 or so dollars to be brushless and fast like this is awesome. This is a very impressive boat right out of the box. And Abby, because you got such a <laughs> short end of the deal on that last boat we did, I'm just gonna pass the controls to you. Thanks. <laughs> All right, Abby, you excited? You finally have some battery life. So this thing comes with its own charger, which is a wall charger. Nice bow nuts, Abby. Always bringing us the best bow nuts to the RC sailors. <laughs> and that really nice 3S battery. I'll show you guys how it's strapped in at the end of the video too, because a lot of boats have a different battery Strap system, that was close. <laughs> a lot of boats have a very different battery strap system and a lot of times if you have a fast boat, the battery can get launched up into the front or the back of the boat. But with this strap system, I don't think that's even physically possible. And you know how we said that little cap over the motor was like a unique and cool idea? There's a reason for it. And I'll show you why at the end of this video. Now guys, if you've never driven an RC boat, on a hot summer day and you drive it up close to you and splash that cool lake water on you while you're just cooking in the sun, you've never experienced the true essence of driving an RC boat. That this thing looks good too. I love that fiery red with the black. You can't even get it to flip if you wanted to, could no, you? No, I'm trying. Yeah. It's very impressive. Snappy on the turns, oh yeah. I'm yeah. trying to get it to flip. It's balanced really well. I don't have it trimmed up perfectly, but I think you're veering to the right just a hair still, aren't you? So what I mean, guys, is it has these little knobs. Maybe a little bit, yeah. There are these knobs on the radio. And if, if your boat is 
it's veering off, let's say to the right, you just turn the little steering trim knob to the left a hair. Oh, I jumped right out of the water. That was cool. What a rocky day too. I mean, it's nice and calm, but we're right here in the upper 60s celebrating boat week on the RC Sailors. Taking a break from planes and getting these boats out on the water. Oh, it jumped out of the water. Out there. Yeah, it is. I need to zoom in a little bit. Yeah, we gotta go. Woo! <laughs> it is jumping. We're getting a good run time on this too. And guys, RC boats, they're always head turners, especially good ones. We got all these guys that are out fishing today. Twenty minutes ago, there were no boats over here. Yeah, so we're kind of. We ran in. the big boat, and they all came running. Yeah, um, boat here. One guy just stalked, and and we actually, when we got this one in the water, a boat had parked out there just to watch us drive it. So boats are always good head turners. And what I love doing, one of my favorite things to do at the lake with an RC boat, is anybody that stops and wants to watch, I say, hey. You ever driven anything like this almost always they say no and i give them the controls and they realize how much fun this hobby is we're always happy to share our rc boats with people because unless you run it into the concrete dock there's you know it's kind of hard to damage these guys to be honest and everybody likes to drive something that sounds like a jet ski and shoots water up above your head <laughs> abby today i think come here give me that boat I want you to practice the self-writing because a lot of times I get this way quicker than you. So let's see. Oh, kick the lights on too. It's that little switch down on the handle. Three position switch. There you go. So you got the caution lights on. Okay. We'll see if we can see them. And uh, okay, I'm going to push it out there. So you're only throttle, only throttle. Just rock it back and forth. Forward, back. Well, by throttle, I mean... Reverse forward, reverse forward. There you go, you got it. Well, by throttle, I meant you don't have to worry about the rudder. Told me I, didn't need to do that. I can see the caution oh, lights blinking. I can see them blinking. It looks good. Nice. Are you ready for the water test? Sure. Okay. Ooh, it's a sharp turn. Yeah, let's see if there's any water in this boat. I'm going to think, unless it came through that prop shaft. There's probably no water, but here we go. Abby, take the camera. You might sneeze. <laughs> we usually try not to cut. <laughs> okay, when we pull it out of the water here, let's take a look. We've got to unlatch these two. Okay, there was some water under that, actually. Oh, so, under uh, that a one. A good bit. And I, can, I think I feel some in here. But that water doesn't matter. It's what's inside but that counts. <laughs> i got a little throttle going here. What's going on? I think my throttle <laughs> trim got bumped. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> look so, look, we got a little throttle. So what we need to do is throttle. I didn't bump right. it. I don't know. Something's you going on. It. It's got low. It's got a low idle throttle here. That's very strange. And it could just be because we have a lot of water in here. Oh my god! We did pick up a lot of water, and it's got a little thro little little throttle right. session here. That's quite a bit oh of water. Oh my goodness! It didn't necessarily pass the water test. And then something's going on with our motor. Yeah. Okay. So, so much for that shield. I wanted to show you the point of the shield though. If your wires got loose in here, this prevents them from getting beat up by the motor. Mm -hmm. Okay. So don't really know what's going on with our idle. <coughs> It wasn't doing that when you sat it in. No. Yeah. So we have steering dual rate, which is turned up really high. Steering trim, throttle dual rate. So we could turn that up and down. Even at the lowest point, <laughs> that's still idling. That's not good. And that is not good. We've never had a boat do that. Otherwise, this boat- Oh, you're still getting water out. <laughs> fantastic. There's still a little in there, so- Oh, look at it. It's pulsing now. Very strange. The only thing I'm thinking is that could mean- Like a low battery Low thing? battery, but- you know what? We'll probably bring this one back out and test yeah. it again. And actually, let's see if, there, this is good. When I unplugged it, we're getting a beep. So that tells me that there is telemetry on this radio. So I think when the battery gets low, it's going to beep. For the sake of um, closure for everybody, sort of, at least semi-closure, let's, let's see if it still does that. It's not doing that. Could have just been a weird little electronic issue. Abby, you probably don't have throttle, correct? No. Right. 
So I'm not, don't actually drive Put it this. Put in the water. But we gotta touch the water. And give it juice now? Hold on. Yes. No, I have to. No, there it goes. Okay. It's pulsing. it's pulsing. So I don't know, it could mean a low battery, possibly. But it's also not very safe that it stopped. continues to pulse. That's strange. I think this boat is going to deserve a follow-up, right? But as of first impressions, other than that pulsing, other than the pulsing, I'm very impressed with this boat. I'm very surprised that it did that. And I'm actually very disappointed. Uh, that doesn't mean it's a bad boat, but there could be some electronic issue going on there. If anyone else knows what could be going on, let us know in the comments because we've never seen a boat have throttle pulsing like that. If it were going to, it could be that the throttle trim was turned up so it would idle, right? But this doesn't actually have throttle trim, it just has throttle dual rate for those of you that know the difference between those. So that's strange. Otherwise, it's a great boat. We'll definitely do a follow-up on this boat. I don't know if it'll be later this week, but sometime as the weather warms up, we'll do a follow-up because I really like this boat. I'm very excited about this boat. And for the price, you just can't beat it. But there is that one issue. And we're gonna point those things out here on our channel. Uh, there's no reason to sugarcoat or hide that type of thing. So that's what you get here on the RC Sailors, plus the fun that we have. And I wanna thank God for giving us the platform to be able to show the transparency if and when there are issues with something. You guys know what you're getting into when you watch it here on the RC Sailors. And I'm so grateful that so many people want to watch our videos and we're able to still have that impact. Whereas some channels out there would film something like this, discover that problem and maybe possibly hide it and not show you. So. I'm not, you know, no, no one in mind specifically, but that is a possibility. Also want to say a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters for having our backs and helping our channel be the size that it is. And uh, if you're interested in an RC boat, especially a budget one, we'll have a nice budget RC boat video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.